Hey, it's Megan. Welcome back here to the Walterman Homestead. Today's video is not a video that I had planned. I am actually in the process of working on video for a homemaking series, but I just felt God say, I'm supposed to ditch that half of the video. And so today is just sharing how to anoint your home in oil. You know, we can read scripture. And we can see all the many places where oil is used in anointing. Whether it is Samuel with King David or even the woman who breaks the perfume and just anoints Yeshua's feet in fragrance before he is crucified and before he dies for our sins. And several years ago, I never knew anything about anointing your home with oil. It was just not something that I was taught. Um, but, you know, like I said, when we read in scripture, we can see it everywhere. And so the oil that I have doesn't hold power, but it is a symbol. It is symbolic of Jesus, of Yeshua's blood. And I have that little jar there and it is just my anointing oil. And I just prayed over it just a simple prayer of just, you know, Abba, I pray that whatever this oil touches, that it heals. Whatever this oil touches, that it protects and that it just provides that your spirit is felt and that your presence is palpable, that your peace is just beautiful on whoever and whatever it touches. And so I just anoint where we sleep over our head, headboard and our footboard. And I just anoint each window, each door, each mirror, mirror in oil. As I go through the house, I anoint the refrigerator. And I go and I give thanks to for the things that we have. That we have food in the fridge. That I have a stove that I can cook on. And the beautiful things that we have. I pray protection over our home. You know, when I pray, I imagine a giant dome that sits over our property. And that when people just roll across that boundary line, that they feel God's presence. That they feel something different. And that they question and that they ask. And it is an open door for fellowship. I pray over the homeschool room. This is also Evelyn's room, but over the books, over our children's minds, over their desire to learn and to know more, over their desire to seek God, to seek good and healthy relationships. I pray over where they sleep, that they sleep sound, that they are not bothered by nightmares or things in their sleep, that they are just covered and anointed. You know, Proverbs tells us that we should train a child in the way that they should go and they won't depart from it. And so here, I want to teach our children how to seek God and how to anoint their things with oil and how to be humble at his feet and have humble hearts. And so I'm talking and I'm reading Psalm 23 with Ellie. And I'm using the visual concept that she can understand of how she has this desire to care and take care of animals. And how the Lord is our shepherd. And what that looks like as a shepherd tends to their flock. They have a staff to guide and direct their sheep their flock to help take care of to protect and to guard them from dangers but her little spirit is just so beautiful she's so filled with excitement and love i did a devotional a couple weeks ago about blessings and curses and how our words have power and our words have power and when we look in the bible where parents bless their children. We see that the blessings that parents gave to their children happened. The things that they spoke over their children happened. And what we speak of our children matters. It matters.
for my sweet Easton, I read a different psalm. And I used one that he would more understand. And I used it more as in a relationship with God and relationship with people. And his mind just works a little bit different than Ellie's. And that's what's beautiful about him and her and us is we are all uniquely different. We each have different things that we find interesting and we have different desires. And his desire is just a tender heart and he cares for others and he cares about the details and things. And he's always trying to go the extra mile to go out of his way to bless others and it is just beautiful to watch him grow and thrive his little mind of building he worked this whole little fort out because he wanted to sleep in it and so he was so excited to just smear that oil all over his bed sheets (laughs) but to camp out and make memories anointing your home in oil doesn't have to be complicated all you have to do is do it from the heart. God knows. He is Elroy. That is my name for him this year, is he's just the God who sees, and he knows. I pray this video blesses you in some way. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and drop a comment below. May Yahweh bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you, and may he give you his shalom. Till next time.